you're gonna ask me one more question, and if I answer it correctly, you're gonna give me an A. If I answer it wrong, Hey guys, I'm Kosaninos Hulagi from Study Medicine and today as I told you in the previous video I'm gonna tell you about the story that happened in my oncology exam. Um, so I, I went to the oncology exam, I studied very well, I used my notes, yeah, you can find them in the other video. So I'm gonna tell you what happened. I studied very well, I studied like day, many days and I revised it, I knew everything, all the treatments uh, specifically in each stage and things like that. I get the first question, palliative care, I, I knew a lot of stuff, they asked me only one thing I didn't know, I referred to that in the previous video, <clears throat> so except of that everything was fine in palliative care, uh, and the second question was about the colorectal cancer. I said all the staging, they were, it was fine with that, everything was, was fine, I said the clinical symptoms, I said the guys, small things about pathology, about the polyps, and then, as you know, as you notice in this level zero two question, there is one about the colorectal cancer, and there is other about the treatment of colorectal cancer. And because I knew that they will, it would be strange, and they will be asking me the treatment. I wrote the treatment also in my papers. So I, 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 I started talking about the colorectal cancer. Everything was fine. They asked me a few stuff. I knew them, and everything was fine. So they, I go to the treatment. They ask me about the treatment, even if it's not in the question. Then they ask me to describe the treatment. So what happens is that. I started saying stage one, I, I said the general rationale about like local cancer, you treat with surgery, then we have metastasis, chemotherapy, chemoradiation, and things like that. Everything was fine, and then, uh, then I started describing in stages. Stage one, you do this, according to my syllabus, stage two, you do this, stage three. You know, they were, I don't know if they were paying attention of what I was saying exactly, but they were kind of disagreeing in what I was recommending as guidelines from the place I studied for. And uh, this, uh, this is understandable because, you know, in Bohunitsa or in uh, the oncology hospital here, they might recommend other stuff than what I was saying, but um, the, I'm going to explain you, okay? So I say that, uh, and then they were kind of disagreeing with what I was saying. And then the te one teacher asked the other teacher, so what grade should we give him? And that's the point, you know, like that you're saying, okay, that's an A, I mean, like, uh, I, I said everything, and they asked me an A, I, I knew almost everything. And then the other teacher turns to him and said, B. And I was like, fuck, B, uh, B, it's a great, great, it's a great grade, it's amazing grade. But I mean like, you know, it's like getting second position in a race, that you're so close to get first position. It's a good grade, but I mean like, if you study a lot and you're tired and you are like uh, giving all yourself to that in an exam, and an A is so always a good push, you know, for the next exams. So you, if, it's a good, it's a good thing to get an A. And I'm a bit too competitive. I'm not gonna disagree. Competitive. I mean, like with myself, I wanna get better and better. Uh, so and also, it's like I have good grades in all the clinical subjects, and that would be the the, the worst one, let's say. Okay, maybe you disagree. Maybe you laugh about me now, but uh, I mean, like you know, understand that an A is always good. So he said that I'm gonna give him a B, and I, and I and I with all the all the arrogance I have inside me, I, I asked why. And they told me that the uh, base is good, you know, with these things like that, what the teacher says. And I say, okay, like now you have to do something that you've never done before. I should have done it before, but it didn't work. And I say to the teacher, uh, okay, so let's do that. You're gonna ask me one more question. And this doesn't work all the time. But I said like this, you're gonna ask me one more question, and if I answer it correctly, you're gonna give me an A. If I answer it wrong, you will give me C. You know, the, until the point I tell him about the, if you answer it wrong, you give me C, the, the guy was, no, I don't, uh, bargaining, I, it's not a market. <laughs> but until he heard that I risk my B for a C to get a better grade, then he agreed with that. So he asked me, what's the complication, what's the most dangerous complication of, uh, of a chemotherapy. And I said to him straight, like without thinking a lot, infection. And then he told me, like, tell me more specifically. And I say febrile neutropenia. And it was correct, okay? That was like, I, is this moment I got so, like, so stressed. My heart was beating. It was very strange feeling. It's like the feeling before you get the result passing or not passing. This is a moment that you feel like very stressful. So 
I, she, he tells me, okay, yes, that's correct. And then he told me how you can um, prevent that. What's the prophylaxis in order not to get febrile neutropenia. And I say, again, like kind of fast, antibiotics. Because febrile neutropenia, you have an infection, so you give antibiotics not in order to have. But it is a correct answer, but it's not the total correct answer. And then he reacted and he said, okay, I'm going to give you a B. And then I say, uh, okay, it's GCSF, uh, granulocyte, colony simulating uh, factor. And uh, he tells me, yes, it is, but I'm going to give you a B because probably I didn't say it straight. And I don't know what is the most correct answer. If it's antibiotic or GCSF, I think both of them are correct. And maybe if you have, you have said both of them, then he wouldn't disagree with me. But that's a matter. I mean, like, okay, I accept it. Okay, the guy didn't want to bargain anymore about my grade. And so he would give me a B. So what I did is like, okay, I, say, I was okay with that. If I did well on my side. I give him my paper because I didn't have my end with me to sign there my grade. But the guy thought I'm gonna I'm give him my papers to check the treatment of colorectal cancer. But I didn't do that. I, I didn't I didn't care at the point. Like I did, I was already very stressed about it and I didn't care. So I give him my papers and he checked the colorectal cancer treatment and he was with you know his colleagues checking my treatment guidelines and stuff like that and he says mm, yes this could be correct and this could be correct and this could be and then he gave me gave me an A and I, he told me like go and I don't want to see you again he reacted like that but uh, <laughs> and, I, and I went back with my index because you don't want to forget these moments so this is what happened and it was like the feeling the feeling when I said to him that when I had to answer the question that he told me, it was so stressful, so stressful. My heart was beating so much. And oh, it's a good experience, I can say. I felt amazing. I felt amazing. Okay, this was the experience. I'm going to make another video. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching this video. You can subscribe if you want. And uh, you can like or dislike the video or comment below. Or send me any experience that you have and share it with us. Uh, you, um, you can find us in Facebook in Study Medicine and like or dis uh, like actually you're gonna dislike in Facebook. Thank you very much for your time. Bye.